Welcome back folks now to the final of the GFL qualifier number three jumping back in with Barrage this time and they're playing a team that is certainly on form right now Team Odin but uh we can't we can't just switch casters now we're sticking with E4 Brutalize and sh sh j and bathing or bathing I should say in his knowledge are you looking forward to this one Charlie? <laughs> Yeah, I'm looking forward to this one, Toby. I I want to see. Oh, we've had a lag out there. I want to see um Odin come out on top. I love a good underdog, me. So most people are thinking Barrage are going to walk through it, but Odin are play are playing really good. I mean, um, one of their players, Odin SKR, formerly known as Shocker, he's been around since Gal One. He's attended many lands, and he um he pretty much runs the team and leads the team, and he, he's a really good team leader. So they could pull something out here, Toby. Yeah, and I think I think as we we've mentioned it before throughout the stream that Barrage were perhaps making some sloppy mistakes, some some mistakes you wouldn't expect of that team, and you know it, it's down to these these Dutch players. These, I mean, they've got newspaper now, who is a, a new member for Odin, I think, since the previous GFL or maybe the first one. So it's not a new roster by any shot, but as you said, the experience of the likes of Shaka, um, who. Uh, which one's his game attack? Is that SKR now? Uh, SKR, yes. Yeah. So yeah, with with the with the likes of DTEX, of course, we've we've seen him in many top teams before, uh, teaming with members such as uh, from members from Hostile, of course, another great team from EU, and obviously Zatox as well. I mean, you've got some really experienced players here who can certainly uh, show up for this final. Yeah, I mean, uh, DTEX is a great shotgun player. One, of, probably one of the best EU shotgun players, actually. In fact, I mean. I've seen him do bits. When he teamed with Phantom Bear, he was a really good player. But they, they said he was a bit too individual before uh, for their team. But I mean, when you're a good shotgun player, I mean, some people do like to take it on their hands to try and take one v ones and stuff. And I mean, Barrage will give him one v ones if that's what he wants. And I think we're in for an interesting game, Toby. Yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait to see how these shotgun play, uh, battles play out. Of course, Barrage are one of the strongest shotgunners in EU as well in these one v one situations. So. Definitely looking forward to this one, folks, and I'm sure a lot of you in chat are. Tell, tell you what, we've been predicting, putting predictions in for this for these games quite a lot. I want to hear in chat, or read in chat then perhaps, uh, who is going to win this first map, or match. Just just point it out. Let us know. Uh, we're going to have a look through. We're going to see what the, what the odds are on both teams, so to speak, and uh, uh, I really want to see what uh, everyone's thoughts are on this is on chat. I mean... Personally, I'm going to go with Barrage. I think they're going to pull themselves up from the, the the sloppy mistakes that we've been seeing. I think they're just going to come through with a win. I'm not sure about you, Charlie. Yeah, I, I think we're going to see Barrage win, but I, I really want Odin just to prove us wrong, Toby. I, like, I know most people are going to think Barrage are going to win, but I'm just really hoping Odin can pull something out here. And By all means, I'm, I'm not trying to say they're the worst team or... Whatever, because we just haven't seen a lot of this roster, so anything can happen. And uh, with Gears being as uh, competitive in EU as it is, and all like the 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 things that can be th all the spanners that can be thrown in the works, as you said, anything can happen. And I'm looking forward to Odin now really performing. I mean, we've seen them perform on a really consistent basis throughout these GFLs, perhaps more consistently than any team we've seen so far. They've got plenty of times to these semi-finals and these are uh, now a final throughout these GFLs and some people in the community, uh, in the wider Gears community as well, wouldn't assume Odin would be here. Uh, these are some relatively unknown players in terms of Twitch. We've, we, usually, we used to see in teams like Barrage, Champions, your team of course, and our damage. But you know this is a relatively new team who are really w wanting to put their mark on this uh, now. And uh, of course Barrage and Odin both have got really good seeding points. So really, there's the only thing to play for at this point is uh, either security into actually f for, like making it impossible to not get into the league through the seeding points, or just the instant win. I mean, Barrage have come so close to winning the tournament now that they'll be really, really motivated to go for this one, Charlie. Yeah, definitely. But as I said, I, I think um, the Galform League is just so great, Toby. Like it's people like Odin, like Dtex and Shocker and Zatox. I mean, it's it's just great for them to like get their names out there and really see what they can do. And it's it's great to see a new team coming up and making it into top eight. 
and let's just see what they can do against Barrage now, Toby. Yeah, but not, no, Adam's gonna take that 1B in the water stairs now. Sorry, the water stairs, talk though. SKR looking to try and find that 1B back, but he's gonna get caught out now as Barrage rotated out. Barrage Dill, he's gonna get that lantern down on Zatox as well, so that push is not gonna work for him through that Torpo as Dtex is also gonna get down now, and that's gonna be a first round for Barrage. Yeah, we just saw a very quick round there. Uh, we was talking about Odin and their position, so I didn't really see what happened, Toby, but I'm pretty sure Odin went for a, a water push, and they got punished by Barrage. Obviously, Barrage went for the snipe, and when someone's on that bridge and you're doing a water push, it pretty much slims your chances of getting through. Yeah, and quite an unorthodox strategy for the to a war push that we've seen. You don't usually see them until like the late late map uh, pulling out those open strats. So very drastic for them, but they managed to get this torpo now as Dill is now exchanged for this middle bridge area. Yeah, we're going to see Zatox here taking the hammer burst. So we're really pushing them back on the low side, taking mid bridge. Shocker with down. Dill is on mid bridge on his own, being collapsed. So he manages to get one kill, but Zatox does get it down. Yeah. Great moving by Dell, of course, but Ronnie, he's going to get a very, very nice headshot on Zatox there, mid-cover slide, actually. Yeah. Great headshot by him, really, really aesthetically pleasing, actually, and a uh, really difficult shot to pull off now, as uh, we see SKR now coming back with this Torpo area on the opposite side of the map. Sam has come back to the water stairs, the safety of his teammate as newspaper, though. I have to point out, Charlie... I have to point out that yeah. th this guy, Toasty, is a great, great sniper. I've actually personally been a doubles partner with him uh, on this game, and he's really underrated with his weapon, so I really want to see what, what the outcome of this is for this 2v2. I, I actually didn't know Newspaper was Toasty, that is why I didn't say much about him, but knowing that as well, hi him and Shocker go way back to Gears 1 as a team, and Toasty is a very great player and a great sniper, as you said. I, I just never mentioned that because I thought it was him, I wasn't sure, I didn't really want to go dropping names, Toby, and it wasn't him. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, we're in for a great game here. I mean, yeah. they're pushing up now, they've got a Tebow and sniping hands. I like that push as well, Charlie. They dropped that Torpo, Tear dropped it in behind that second pillar, forced them off, but Barrage, yep, they weren't taking any chances now, as Ronnie has rotated to the middle bridge. I'd like to see Shocker come back now and really play on Ronnie whilst he's on his own. Sam is slowly regrouping with him, but that that is a 2v1 what? there, Toby. Wait, if wait, Shocker wait. can... Yeah, why is, I, I'm really confused now. Sam is just out of in the middle of nowhere now. Perhaps another sloppy mistake now. As they're finally pushing now, this team Odin. Body check coming from Toasty. Great play by him to make sure he keeps his composure and hitting that. And it's all going to be down to Sam now. I'm not sure what was going through the head, Charlie. Yeah, I mean, as soon as straight away I saw that play happening, Torbo 1v2, you don't sit on your own on mid bridge, I don't know what he was thinking, but let's see what Sam can pull out here, he has got a snipe, but I'm pretty sure Shocker's still got a few T-bows left, Toasty's got a snipe in hand, this body check going out to Sam, Sam's going to try and get away from that, pistol shot's being fired at Sam, no managed to connect, Sam's really going to try and get back into that connector, trying to find some ground he can actually hold. Just uh, checking the timer actually, there is 1 minute 15, Sam has got the sniper, so they have to be careful in the way they approach this 2v1, but with that sniper in hand you can create a lot of distance and keep this, maintain this pressure, so time is on Sam's side potentially now as he tries to escape from this middle bridge area, using these nades perhaps to roll back in a minute. He has got a nade and a sniper, that's giving him a good advantage in this 2v1, I mean, he, there's only 50 seconds left on the clock, so he, he can stop the push with that nade any time, giving him an extra, well, at least an extra 10 seconds. I mean, it's going to be interesting to see what Odin try and do here. Time is not on their side now, and I think, yep, they've decided they don't need to waste time baiting that first nade now, and so Sam's going to have to rely on his snipe skills. And, uh, no, he's not going to run away, he's going to fight this, Charlie. 2v1 now, great Ooh. play by Sam, great movement to maneuver his way around that rock, get that one shot off, but... It's not going to work out for him as Toasty keeps his composure yet again and finishes that 2v1. Yeah, once again, so you you so spoke about um, Barrage's sloppy plays and moves and like just leaving yourself in a 1v2 on mid bridge isn't, isn't the best thing to do, especially when you've got a T bow and it's so easy just to T bow the side of that and just just push it over. So, Hell yeah. that is uh, usually a beginner's mistake. I'd like to call. I hate it when a uh, 2v1 is gifted like that. But Barrage, they're looking to be aggressive now into this round though. They're going to take the first down and the first kill. Body check coming in from Ronnie now as he supports this push, counter push from Odin. And still going in ham with those up A's around the corner there. Great play by him now as they put one back on the board straight away. Yeah, lovely shotgun plays by Barrister. I mean, Odin wanted to give it to him and 
fair dues to them because they they did try, but Barrage come off on top. I like that, I like that from Barrage. Coming coming back strong, really aggressive, really confident. You can tell from Dill's uh, shotgun, uh, shotgun confidence or aggressiveness. I suppose you could say that. They're looking to win this now, but Odin, they have other ideas. They're going to take the middle bridge this time, though, on this side. Barrage are going to be on the back foot now as they're trying to rotate out, it seems like, and perhaps secure this Torpo. Nades coming over the head of Sam. He's going to have to be careful, though. Nades are gone now, and I think it's over for him now. That Nades have protected the Torpo for long enough now to allow Odin to come back and prevent this Torpo pickup. Um, we've got Toasty falling back for that snipe. We have got away with the Tebow. Sam does go down, but he's going to get a rear. He is going to get away with that Tebow. He's taking it back up the water stairs. He's, he's probably going to try and make a play high with that now, I can imagine. He's trying to take the, trying to take the connectors back. Yeah, I like that little buddy system Barrage had there with that Torpo on the revive. We see that a lot, and of course that was the only thing that allowed Sam to get out there alive. Is calling out for Hoffman, which I believe is Barrage Dill, and uh, just saying we need to take this Torpo now. We need to take this. The, the opportunity to weapon side is gone. The rotations out out of here, so we now need to take that. And I like how they did that actually. But, um, yeah, you can see Odin creeping now, but Dill he wants some. He's got the full the full red call out from his teammate. His shots are going to go in, but they're not going to bring about any play or kill out of that. I mean, we see st we still see Barrage Sam lurking at the bottom of water stairs now, so it doesn't have to be a pass around this one. I don't think Odin are going to allow it, judging from their movement up high as well. I'd, I'd really like to see Sam maybe push low with Dill or go high side now before the second nades appear. Like You, you don't want to let them get the second nades and then try and push. You, you want to try and take the map control before the nades are up and to get the nades yourself. I, I think they're playing a bit passive, Barrage. I, I really thought Sam would try and make a play high or low. But then Odin, I, I've got a good setup. They've got They've got someone holding the down low so Dill can't push up. The nades are up now, and I think Zatox. Zatox has got the nades in hand. Chuck one at water stairs, not going to connect. What I'd like to see in this in this point, Charlie, is either some uh, toasty position or newspaper, for those who are unaware, positioning for them to prevent this new snipe pickup, or even an actual push now to, to prevent it. Well, unless they already have it, Charlie, but I'm not too quite quite too sure right now. Ronnie, of course, has the first sniper, so you know the, it looks like it's just a it's just a wait now for these new power weapons to spawn. Our Sam is still in this low side area with this torpor in hand. Yeah. So there are plays still available, but you know, Toasty and, uh, and uh, AK newspaper sniper is something to be feared uh, to some players who are aware. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't look like they're waiting for a second sniper. It looks like they're going to make a huge push up low now. Oh, drastic they're push pushing now. Pushing low. They're all going to go for this push now. All guns in. Detex Ooh. is going to get killed by his teammate though with a pistol headshot. Barrage have already rotated all the way out to the other side, I believe, but. Uh, and it looks like, yeah, there we go, Zatox and, and Newspaper, they're out of there. As Barrage have turned around and they've gone on this middle bridge area. Three on middle bridge, Torpo in hand. Snipe's not going to connect though. They're going to be in a lot of trouble here, Charlie. Yeah, well played oh. Barrage now. Huge shot by Toasty with the kill. Adam and Sam managed to take two out. We're going to see Ooh. Shocker trying to take up. Three v one. Bit, oh. bit of Gears 1 wiggle we saw from Shocker then. I like that. Yeah, that, was, that was really... really uh, unorthodox for Ultimate Edition, something we typically see on uh, Gears 1, but you know, I like that push from Barrage. Yes, they, they had a little bit of passive play throughout that round, but that seemed really uh, coordinated. You saw the push from Sam through that Torpo area that we'd like to see, perhaps picking up that ammo on the way as well, but uh, who knows on that one, but they took that low side area, they took the numbers advantage, and they just turned on and it all collapsed on them from there. Ooh, Toasty trying to push on the low headshot straight away. Zatox still pushing heavily. Shocker gets a down on Sam. Adam full red down by Shocker. Nade coming out by Dill actually killing Sam. Shocker manages to get the, the double, the down on Ronnie. Getting that double whack in just in time. That was really nice from Shocker holding it there. Uh, run out of ammo. It's going to be all up to Barrage Dill this round for a 3v1. He's holding this block. Pistol fire coming out of anywhere. And he, as soon as he comes off that uh, block, he's going to get full redded. Here's the push round wide. Dill's not having any of it though. Great shot and play by him. This could be amazing for Team Barrage. And he's going to connect. What a 3v1. Folks, we will be seeing that in the highlights for this week. Wow. And the win for the round and the map. That was fantastic, Charlie. What are your thoughts on that one? Well, that was great for you. I did not expect that, Toby, but 
I, I mean, we, we did we did see Odin. They, they got the pistol angles. They had him full red, Toby, and then they just sat there with their pistols out and let him regain his health. I mean, I I feel like as soon as they as soon as he pulled back, they should have just ran out with their shotguns. But even though that was just great play by deal, there wasn't much they can do really, Toby. Uh, when you're positioned against a, a, a shotgun with the caliber of, of Barrage Dell, I mean, you saw the movement. We've seen Barrage Ronnie and Mansion earlier. That movement was crazy. And then you just see Barrage Dell just showing that perhaps why Barrage are one of these top teams in EU, why they're perhaps more recognized than Odin. And, and you just see like this amazing shotgun play, this spinning around cover, the bouncing, the, the camera movement. I mean, he spun his camera around 360 at one point, Brutalize, and still come out with a win. It's just, it's just fantastic to see. Some really intense action that map, actually, with the, the pushes on that middle bridge and... A great way to round off that map from Barrage Dill. Yeah, I mean, I think Odin would be beating the south up about that. I was like, no one likes getting 1v3. No one likes getting 1v2. Well, I mean, I hope they can keep the morale high and not argue about that and just, just move on to the next map. That is uh, not going to be a great finish for the first map for Odin. You know, those kind of situations. It, a 3v1 as well, that is perhaps that much difficult to pull off as well. He was red as they went in. They did go wide, but it just didn't come together at the end. And, you know, it's just it's going to be really hard to take that loss, I feel, for, um, for Odin. I mean, it was 4-1, but, you know... We know how important psychology is in, in terms of like tilting. We hear that word a lot thrown around the Gears community and esports communities, and you know that it is a final. And so 